Hi, it's Dr. Z. I will be discussing the modern perspectives in abnormal psychology today. By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe the seven perspectives. You will then apply one or more of the perspectives to the case study of Pat for discussion board number one. Please feel free to pause the video at any time to take notes. The seven modern perspectives on the origins of abnormal behavior are listed here. I want to point out the perspectives highlighted in blue. These are the four perspectives that are considered part of the psychological model. I decided to separate them out for ease of explanations. So let's get started. First, biological. The biological model assumes that abnormal behavior results from biological processes of the body, particularly the brain. Additionally, abnormal behavior may be a function of either structural or chemical differences in the brain. This model looks at the role of genetics and heredity in the development of psychological disorders, such as schizophrenia. Our brain is complex, involving neurons and neurotransmitters. Thus, the biological model explores how neurotransmitters and hormones may impact our behavior. The film A Beautiful Mind, for example, is the true story of Dr. John Nash, who is a gifted mathematician and who also was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Research has shown that some individuals diagnosed with schizophrenia may have structural brain abnormalities. Now on to the psychological models of abnormal psychology. The psychological models are psychoanalytic, behavioral, cognitive, and humanistic. So, psychoanalytic. Modern psychoanalytic approaches focus on the unconscious as the source of abnormal behavior. Such as this picture of an iceberg, only 10% of our thoughts and feelings are conscious. The remaining 90% are hidden to ourselves and to others. Additionally, the psychoanalytic perspective believes in the importance of early childhood experiences in the development of ourselves. In particular, they propose that mental representations or views of the self and others guide our interactions and may lead to psychological symptoms. You may be interested in exploring the work of Alfred Adler and individual psych psychology. He has a fascinating take on psychological birth order and sibling rivalry. Behavioral. The behavioral perspective differs from the psychoanalytic perspective and the focus of how environment plays a role in behavior. Behavior here is a product of an individual's learning history. As such, abnormal behavior is a result of maladaptive learning experiences. Now the key individuals to know are Ivan Pavlov, who developed classical conditioning, John B. Watson, who used classical conditioning to determine that emotions can be learned, and B.F. Skinner, who developed operant conditioning. This scene from the TV show The Big Bang Theory illustrates how Sheldon trains Penny to complete tasks using positive reinforcement or in this case, increasing her behavior by rewarding her with a piece of chocolate. Cognitive. Cognitive is just a fancy word for thoughts, or how we think. In other words, our mental processes. So humans interact with their environment, and they need to make sense of the world around them by thinking. We use our mental processes to transform and understand information. As such, the cognitive perspective views abnormal behavior as a result of distorted cognitions or distorted ways of thinking. For example, let's talk about eating disorders. Eating disorder is not a disorder about eating. It is a psychological disorder where the disorder is in thoughts or how they see the th themselves and the world around them. For example, individuals diagnosed with the eating disorder anorexia nervosa have distorted thoughts about their body image. They still believe they're fat, even if they weigh 90 pounds. Individuals who have anorexia nervosa have irrational thoughts and irrational fears about their weight and perceptions about themselves. Humanistic. The humanistic perspective believes that people are innately good and have free will or choice in their lives. 
Additionally, humanists believe that individuals are motivated to develop their full potential, or self-actualization. Thus, abnormal behaviors may arise when there's a failure in the process of self-actualization. This usually occurs when individuals have difficulties recognizing their areas for growth and do not initiate strategies for positive growth. The psychologist most well known for humanistic psychology is Carl Rogers and his concept of conditional positive regard. Conditional positive regard is when a person is treated with respect and care only when meeting the standards of others, that is, under conditions. The movie Black Swan is an excellent example of conditional positive regard and the abnormal behavior that can result from it. The main character, Nina, played by Natalie Portman, has an overbearing mother who dictates her every move and praises Nina when she meets her standards. Nina appears to have developed anxiety, among other things, as a result. Sociocultural. Thus far, all the perspectives we've discussed have had the assumption that abnormal behavior lies within the individual, whether that be genetic, learned, etc. The sociocultural perspective, on the other hand, takes into account the importance of social and cultural influences on the individual. In other words, abnormal behavior does not simply result from biological or psychological factors, but reflects the social and cultural environment in which a person lives. The sociocultural perspective takes into account gender roles, social class, and interpersonal resources. For example, the family dynamics in the film Little Miss Sunshine illustrate the social and cultural influences on behavior. This family has certain roles and expectations in the family, what can be discussed and what must not be discussed. It's important to understand the cultural influences also for the interpretation of behavior because we often interpret others' behaviors, particularly when that behavior is different from ours, we interpret it as ab abnormal, when in reality, it may be normal for them. Lastly, biopsychosocial. So far, we've reviewed six modern perspectives to abnormal behavior. Each perspective can contribute to our understanding of abnormality. In other words, there are many different factors that probably contribute to the development of abnormal behavior, and equally different factors may be important for different people. Thus, the biopsychosocial perspective is a combination of biological, psychological, and sociocultural influences on behavior. The diathesis stress model recognizes that psychological disorders may have a biological or psychological basis and then may arise when paired with stress from the social cultural environment. All right, now let's discuss your assignment for this week. For discussion board number one, you'll be assigned one psychological perspective. Put yourself in the role of a psychologist from that perspective and imagine that you've come across the following situation. Pat is a freshman at your college. Pat has been drinking a lot lately there is some concern that Pat may be an alcoholic. Your job is to first generate a fictional scenario, about a paragraph long, from the point of view of your assigned perspective. I want you to get creative here and include a fictional age, gender, race, childhood history, medical history, or any other information that you want about Pat. Second, I want you to offer a possible explanation for Pat's drinking issue. How did it arise? Try to explain Pat's behavior from your perspective alone without using the other perspectives. There are no right or wrong answers here. I look forward to reading your discussion boards this week.